guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be my kind of a first impressions of my Louis Vuitton Vitaut BB so this is the smallest size of the Vitaut and I'm just gonna kind of show you what fits inside and I'm gonna compare it to some of my smaller handbags that I have and just kind of show you and talk a little bit about this you know just I have it for a month so I can already tell you know if something I like or not so yeah let's get started if you have seen my uh, birthday haul my Louis Vuitton birthday haul um, I'll link it up there you can go ahead and check it out if you haven't seen it but I did unbox this handbag which I purchased for my birthday and um, yes this was something that it was on my wish list and i had my eye on this bag for a couple of months and to be honest with you originally i was thinking to get an mm size which is like a full size version of this handbag but the last minute literally like the last month i have decided that i am not going to purchase the mm size because simply i thought it was just huge and I don't need a huge handbag and uh, I've decided to get the uh, BB size there's no PM size if there was probably a PM size I would probably go for it uh, but since there's no PM there's just a BB or the MM size I decided to purchase the BB size so I have it for about a month now maybe a little bit over a month and I have been pretty much carrying it non-stop for the past month since I've got it and um, just for the video purposes you can tell that this handbag is full right now I never carry all that stuff in this handbag what do you have what are you gonna see right now so it is pretty heavy I'm holding it like this it's like tons of brick to be honest with you so I pack it to maximum just just for the video purposes so I could show you exactly what I have in this handbag so why don't we start with that i'm just gonna show you exactly what i have and then we're gonna talk about this a little bit so this handbag obviously comes with the strap um and the strap you can um wear it you know on your shoulder on um, or you can wear it crossbody and that's how i have it set it up but i don't know recently i have been really kind of using this handbag carrying like so um, and if I need a strap, I'll just pop the strap, you know, and just kind of wear it crossbody if I need to. But I have been really enjoying just, you know, using the top handle. So, like I mentioned, I packed this handbag as I never did. <laughs> but this is just strictly for video purposes, so you guys can see how this tiny little bag, how much this bag can actually hold. So, I put all the crap I could possibly fit in here. <laughs> And uh, yeah, let me just show you what I have one by one. So, um, by the way, there are some pockets here. And I think the only thing I have in a pocket is my um, Laneige lip balm. So that's what obviously what was in there. But then the rest of the flat packet is just basically empty. So I'm going to start from the side here. I do have my cell phone. So it fits right there perfectly then i do have i switched recently my wallet so this is the clemens wallet and this is a full time full size uh wallet so it was right here then i do have a mini pochette which i have a couple of like you know like hand sanitizer and all this little stuff which i normally honestly you guys i don't carry this with me but i just put it here for video purposes so you can see how much can fit i also put my chanel o case which i occasionally take with me because i do have some like extra cards in here and um uh, you know things that i might need so here was the o case and this is the smallest one i do have some tissues and what else I have in here? I have my keys. So this is the Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. And that's pretty much it, right? I do have some hair tie, random hair tie. And that's pretty much it. So the bag is now empty. When the bag is empty, is super, super lightweight. 
it's just like nothing right now so all of that stuff you guys i was able to fit in this handbag with no problems which is pretty impressive because i know um i think at some point one of you left me a comment that the bb size is tiny and it was not enough for you and i can understand that you know especially if you carry a lot of stuff you know that's that's not gonna be enough for you but you know for now for me like this is all i carry like i usually will take my you know obviously my cell phone occasionally i'll take mini pochette but i don't really <laughs> to be honest with you but look at this this is a full-size wallet and i can just easily easily fit in here so obviously if you have like a sarah wallet you know this will fit um i'm trying to like put it on the side there we go and you know and there's no problems um you know taking it out of you know or putting it in no problem at all and obviously you know cell phone anything else will just fit and all i usually take is my wallet my cell phone um lip balm and <laughs> you know i don't really carry cosmetics these days and i keep my extra strap in there and that's it and most of the time i don't even zip the top zipper <laughs> because i'm just kind of too lazy but i do like the look of the you know of the hardware here on the zipper i think it looks stunning but i just usually keep it up and, and that's how i kind of go on with my day so um yeah this bag in this size fits everything what i need so um let me just give you some measurements and then we're gonna go through some details of this handbag i have my pink uh, measuring tape so this is gonna be like approximately okay let me let me maybe start with the top so you can see the the length of the zipper um hold on that's the wrong size um so you can see how you know how big it is so this is going to be 10 inches all right so this here is 10 inches so it's gonna be slightly longer let me measure the base that's gonna be better if i measure the base uh, well, so it's gonna be like almost 11 inches here. So it is slightly wider, you know, at the bottom in this part. So um, then uh, the width of the handbag, let's see, like the widest part would be about four inches, okay? And let's measure from the top to the bottom. Was there my cell phone ringing for a second? <laughs> You know, now they are blocking those spam calls. I think they are sending them like immediately to the voicemail. So that's probably what happened. Um, okay, so from the top to the bottom is about seven. Uh, if I go around, it's gonna be like almost eight inches, seven and a half, eight inches. So um, yeah, and if you want to know the strap drop, I'll be happy to tell you it's about four inches. So it is definitely enough, you know, to hold it like this or that's that's usually <laughs> what I do. And then obviously this handbag comes with this beautiful, uh, quite useless, as I mentioned that earlier, but it's kind of cute, you know, like a tag. Um, my husband thought you can put like your name in here. Like, no, no you, you cannot do anything. <laughs> and i would not put my name on it just to begin with but um yeah <laughs> yeah it just says louis vuitton it says louis vuitton paris right there um yeah so what i love about this handbag so far first of all it's small it's just tiny okay and i do not really own many tiny bags and i'm gonna compare in just a second to some other bags but the tininess the cuteness of this handbag it was just like yeah I, I just had to have it um so the second thing what i love about this particular handbag is the combination with the leather so this is like a, i think it's a calfskin leather and um you could have an option of having it like in red or i think there was like a pale pink but red and pale pink they come with the vachette or vachetta leather um, you know a strap and the handles and I didn't like that I wanted to have a treated leather so if it if I'm being like caught in the rain you know with this handbag I know nothing is gonna happen so yeah I do like the leather feature and then of course there's a little print you know 
Louis Vuitton here on the bottom and this is the back of the handbag um, so you have this leather V section as well I know that MM has like a hidden pocket here on the side that you can probably put your cell phone or something this one doesn't have any of those hidden pockets um, so yeah this is how it looks like outside and what I especially loved about this handbag because I was also thinking about the Palace BB because you've seen a lot of youtubers buying Palace BB but I think the v tote is so underestimated and I feel like it's just way more beautiful than Palace and I'm especially talking about the hardware the hardware is just stunning on this handbag and that's what really sold me this hardware is just amazing I mean look at this guys this is just beautiful those little rings and you know those little like a studs and so you have four of them because they are holding you know the the straps and then obviously those oversized zipper pulls up front beautiful obviously you have two rings for the you know for the strap to attach and then what i also love is the fact that every single um piece of hardware has a louis vuitton engraved on it like i'm talking every single part and those little studs by the way there's a little lv in the middle and rings everywhere it just says louis vuitton louis vuitton even on the side rings everywhere it's just like you cannot miss it <laughs> it's just yeah and it's it's like a nice shiny hardware you know I, I think it's just beautiful and I think the combination of the black leather and the you know those kind of tan handles is just is just stunning take a look at the bottom you guys the bottom is kind of structures I would say um it's not super like thick super stiff because I can still see I can still kind of bend it with my hands but it is I would say summer structure bottom and obviously has a four feet and feet are also marked Louis Vuitton yeah there's also markings on the feet so it's great you know if you have to put the handbag somewhere although I'd never put it on the ground but you know like even on the you know on this little side tables you know when you walk inside the house you just put it on it's just nice to have those feet I do you know I do appreciate it um, the back of the handbag is just a plain so you just have this um, piece of leather you know the V and the front has obviously the stamping the one thing that bothers me uh, so far it's really only one thing is do you see like this corner gets kind of um, has like that indentation that's kind of bothers me I wish the I wish the canvas was a little bit more structured because as you can see like I can press it I can squish it very easily it's a very soft canvas it's not um, one of those you know super stiff um, handbags this um, yeah this as you can see I can squish it quite easily so I don't know how it's going to behave you know years from now I I don't know if it's going to get completely like squishy and mushy I don't know but I mean it is kind of I would say it's like semi-structured you know because obviously you know look I'm gonna stand it up it's not falling you know off or anything like that so um it is kind of you know semi-structured I would say uh, but as the time goes I just don't know if it's not going to be like collapsing um, or anything like that I don't know but um, yeah that would be like the only one con that I can notice so far you know the inside of the handbag is very plain um, there's just the two slip pockets here on one side and just one black hole and um, I think it's fine I don't have problem with this you know it is you know it's a small bag so this opening the, the mouth opening of the handbag is not huge but like I can show you earlier you know like see the, the mini push out you just yeah there's really no no problem full-size wallet output with no problem so everything can kind of be nice and kind of organized in here I really don't um, yeah I, I mean I didn't find any you know problems with 
things, finding things inside. I feel like everybody just, everything just kind of lines up nicely in this handbag. So yeah, I really like it. So this is it, how the uh, strap looks like on the handbag. So you can obviously, you know, carry like so. It's not a problem, you know, or um, sometimes I'll put the strap like in between the handles and I hold it like this or I just simply just remove it you know if I don't wear it crossbody because that's how I feel this back looks the best you know when I wear it crossbody so I pretty much just hold it like so um all right so very quickly before I finish I want to compare this handbag to two other bags that I have and I really don't have a lot of small handbags so this is my uh YSL Lulu camera bag i think that's what it's called so take a look at the guys so this is how both of those bags looks like so obviously um a v tote is a larger and i can put way more things in you know in the in the v tote than in the camera bag so obviously this is much 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 smaller and then the bag that i was actually surprised because i thought that my um what is it called the lock me i thought the lock me is the same size and it seems like the lock me is bigger so um look at this yeah so the lock me i thought this was like tiny bag but yeah i feel like lock me is larger slightly bigger than um than a v tote this is how it looks yeah what do you guys think <laughs> it this one feels so much bigger in my hands than this and obviously it is um it's heavier you know this is all leather and this is canvas and leather so this one is a lot lighter but um yeah very similar but it is you know lock me it is bigger um it feels bigger and I am sure because of the you know different compartments I'm sure I can put a little bit more uh, in here so yeah this one is called my lock me I know some of some of uh, some of the comments I've got you guys were asking the name of it it's just my lock me there's no other name BB or MM or PM it's just my lock me and this one is BB Okay guys, so this is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any comments regarding this handbag. I do highly recommend it. I think it's a beautiful bag and so far I've been really, really enjoy uh, carrying in it. And you know, if you don't take with you a lot of stuff, this will be more than enough. You know, if you do carry everything by the kitchen sink that probably you need an mm size i wish they had a pm probably i'll go with a pm if there would be an option um but hey this is more than enough for me right now so i'm happy i got it and uh, it, it's a beautiful handbag for sure it is a little pricey but um it's great and i love it Alright guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what do you think. Leave the comment down below and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!